All right, so I don't know if you saw the last episode of the Canadian Brew House in Oshawa, but I was supposed to win a T-shirt. Surprise, surprise, they had no T-shirts, which is why I couldn't show it in the video, but apparently they're gonna post it to me. Anyway, Mrs. Beard says, I'm not allowed to come back with any fewer than three new winner's T-shirts. So today I'm at a place called Mel's Diner in Kitchener to try and win my second of the trip. Let's see how we do. Thank you. Good, good. I heard we're having a big one as well. <laughs> is it big? Is it? It's big? It's like the size of the seat. Size of the seat? It's huge. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I'll give it my best shot. Okay. <laughs> so what I think of when I think of a, you know, a traditional American style diner, I mean, I know we're in Canada, but you get the idea. Bob Hoskins, the British contingent. Um, I would say I, I finished most of them, but you know, like, keep that on the down low. <laughs> I don't want them to make it any bigger. But there are some that I don't finish, you know. So this is the, uh, the challenge I'm doing, the Godfather challenge. Don Corleone right there. Not sure if they, uh, they paid to use his image rights. All right, so a place today called uh, Mel's Diner. And I'm taking it, it's called the Godfather Challenge, right? Yes. You get one hour, one hour to finish this humongous thing, these yes. fries, that coleslaw. Yes. And if you finish it in an hour, what do you get? Well, you become a legend, first off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll get a free Schnazzy t-shirt that says you completed the challenge. I want and the Schnazzy t-shirt. will be, a, be on us as well. Awesome. <laughs> right, so without further ado, this is Bibbix Food. This is Mel's Diner's Godfather Challenge. And uh, if you can't stand the heat, you better stay out the kitchener. <laughs> You, you shouldn't have laughed at that, that was terrible. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I never let that down. Um, I, don't, I don't really know what to do with this. Maybe I'll try and eat it like an actual burger. What's up, Benami? Welcome back to another episode. And yeah, wouldn't that be a sight? Eating like a human being, you could give that a try for a change. <laughs> Anyway, today we're at a place called Mel's Diner in Kitchener. I realize I just mentioned this, but in case you skip the intro, you get one hour to finish this. It consists of one, frankly, humongous burger. You get, I don't know, probably just over a pound of fries and some coleslaw too. If you finish it within the hour, not only do you get the meal free, you get a schnazzy t-shirt, as the waitress said, and uh, a spot on that wall of fame too. I'm gonna have to take it apart. There's no other way to do it. Inevitable. I lasted, what, about 59 seconds before I began to dismantle this beautiful thing, which is kind of a shame. Still, it's pretty messy, and the bread is really pretty tough to eat. So I, it would have been a mistake to eat that part at the beginning. It's <laughs> <laughs> You think I can finish it? Yeah, I Yeah? Well, she might have been laughing, but at least she had some faith, which is more than I can say for the uh, the family sat to my right, who did not believe I could do it. Oh, well, thank you. Initially, they didn't think I could do it. The, the, the matriarch of the family is starting to come around to the idea that yeah, I might have a chance now. And you know what? I, I really enjoyed this one. In fact, I think it could be my favorite of the trip so far, not least because I mean, the staff are really friendly, but not only that, they're incredibly enthusiastic about people attempting the challenge, which is not always the case. And uh, not only that, a lot of the fellow diners in the restaurant were into it too. How's the flavor of It's great. Could, could I get another one yes, of these? <laughs> kind of made like a really large taco out of this bun. Solid tactic. At the time, I'm thinking at least the veggies and, and some of the sloppy stuff will have moistened the bun a little, the, the bottom bun. The, the top one, not so much. That's still pretty dry. <laughs> We're gonna have to improvise tactically when it comes to that one. But for now, yeah, like some kind of DIY open taco thingy. But uh, yeah, I gotta say the, the food was good. The burgers, they're kind of like individual pies. The sneaky thing about this is the, uh, the advertisement board says it's three pounds, but it's actually six half pound burgers. They don't mention the weight of the bun or the thighs or the coleslaw or anything. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of these soggy vegetables in the bun. Hopefully that'll moisten it up a little bit. 
because it's pretty dry. I know what you're thinking. Who is this imposter? He's unusually well prepared for this one. Yeah, I can't lie, I did give a little bit of thought to the uh, the stratagem behind this one because I knew that the, the bun, more specifically the top bun, would be the, the trickiest part and the chewiest part and probably the part that would take the longest to eat. Just uh, clearing some debris up off my jeans there. And we're going in with the coleslaw. Normally I would leave this to the end and, you know, just spoon it out of the bowl, but um, I thought it would be good to use this to, to moisten up the, the bun a little bit. And actually the coleslaw wasn't bad. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of coleslaw, but it's pretty loose, pretty sloppy, and uh, a little peppery too, it tasted good. Mmm, coleslaw sandwich. It's gonna be delicious. I think it's The bread is the difficult part. Oh, this is bigger than the bottom bun. Oh my god! Mm. I love the fact that the, uh, the the lady on the table to my right, the left uh, uh, of the screen, is that she's kind of like commentating now. <laughs> she's having some kind of personal annotations. She's like, yeah, that, that's smart. It's gonna help the bread go down. She probably watched a couple of episodes of uh, Man vs. Food. That, that's what I'm thinking anyway. And yeah, I guess we're about, what, halfway through now? I reckon that's about halfway. We got the, the, the big bowl of chips or fries to, uh, to go. And uh, I should say, disclaimer, um, I don't know, maybe the next minute or so is going to be a little messy because all the, you know, the sloppy vegetables and the, the coleslaw and cheese and stuff is, uh, is slowly making its way outside the bun. But yeah, I'll do my best to stay nice and tidy, which is what I'm doing right now, incidentally. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, the lady to the, the the left of the screen is about to ask me how long it's going to take before the video goes up on the channel. Um, it'll be a long time, probably like three weeks, if I finish it. Otherwise, I might just bury it, pretend it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Would I do that? Come on now. Win or lose, triumph or falter, they all end up on the channel in the end. Oh man, I'm such a mess. Right, that's most of the hard work done. Just some delicious fries now. I'm gonna put this somewhere so I've got more space. Yeah, good thinking. And we're getting there. Fortunately, the fries were pretty fluffy, so they weren't too hard to eat. Well, that's for Britain, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got this. Oh, thank yeah, you. You got new fans. <laughs> well, it's been nice talking to you. Sorry about this, but um, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> People aren't this friendly in England. <laughs> Trying to lube up the chips a little bit. Fries. Sorry, fries. Yeah, I'm just smashing all the fries and the cold salt together now into a slick, starchy mass. I'm impressed. <laughs> You're doing really well. <laughs> Thank you. Could I get a Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi or whatever? Yeah, 20 minutes. That's usually around the point at which I need something sweet and, and fizzy just to, you, you know, help things along. <sighs> I think I'm like 24 minutes in. Almost there. <sighs> Could I get a fork? I know, it's probably a little late for the fork. It's the only way I'm gonna get this Randy clean. Yeah, this plate's gonna be spotless by the end, I promise. Can't say the same about that glass in the bottom right though. Ooh, that does look a little bit scummy. Anyway, we're almost there now, 26 minutes in. Just finishing up some of the loose veggies and, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, if you're in the area, I know probably something like 30% of the people that watch this channel are, uh, are British. But if you're not British, if you're Canadian, <laughs> I think maybe like, I don't know, 8% of my subscribers are Canadian, something like that, then I would highly, I mean, I know Canada's a big place, <laughs> but if you're in the Ontario area, then I would highly recommend Mel's Diner. The staff are great, the food is good, and this challenge is, uh, is really cool. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Well Where did you put it? Thank you. It? You have a hollow leg? <laughs> yeah, that's what a lot of people say. Yeah. <laughs> Three and a half years, never had a finisher. She's been here since 2014. Never. So.
Thanks for letting me do it. Can I have a look at the um Do you want dessert? Yeah, please. Oh my god, you're a, you're a machine. <laughs> this is the pecan flan. Or as they call it here, pecan flan. Mm. It's chewy. But it tastes good. Like this, stick, yeah. out. <laughs> stick it out, right? Is that okay? There's like a yeah, that was fine. Yeah, it's all good. Okay.